Hello guys, I am so excited to hang out with you on such a monumental day today of my life. This is crazy. Guys, we're moving. We are going to a different state today and I bought a house. I bought my first house, guys. Let me put you down because we gotta talk about this. Hello, okay, so today's moving day as you can see, this is where we slept last night because the mattress is in the U-Haul. But um, guys, I bought a house. I literally can't believe it. Saying out loud feels so weird. It's like this out-of-body experience that's like, if only your past self knew that you'd be here one day. It feels so not real. And I'm gonna sleep tonight in the house. Isn't that crazy? I feel very blessed, I feel very lucky, and I feel very grateful today. Yeah, it feels weird sitting in this apartment with everything out of it. Um, let me show you what the studio looks like now. It's just so bare, but you know, this apartment definitely served its purpose and it was good to me. I, I made the best out of it, but I have a lot more space to make content now. I'm just gonna leave it at that. So this is the studio now. It almost feels kind of sad seeing it like this because we've made so many videos in here. Yesterday was pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie because I went in and I signed all the papers and it kind of felt like I was signing my life away. If you have ever gotten a house, you know what I mean. There's just like all these big, thick stacks of papers and just like signature here, signature here, signature here. And you have to be like, what does that mean? What does all of this mean? Um, but at the same time, it was a very exciting feeling and it felt unreal. Like putting that pen to paper and becoming a home homeowner is wild uh but i'm pretty sure that uh the down payment of the house is gonna get wired out of my out of my account today so that's another thing that's gonna be pretty shocking to see um it's just kind of like so much money gone <laughs> but i'm prepared for that i'm prepared for that i'm an adult now i have to i have to get used to the fact that being an adult is like making investments and yeah uh overwhelming but exciting is all I have to say. Hello guys, good morning. I just woke up, brushed my teeth, and he is <laughs> knocked out in bed. But let's get this day started. Let's get it. <laughs> so as you know, I picked up my life and I moved from LA to Arizona, baby. So now I'm gonna live my Arizona life. Today's like day one of me really going out there and and doing the damn thing. So I just put on my moisturizer and the thing about Arizona is that it is like 107 degrees. Let me see what the temperature is right now. It's 720 in the morning, by the way. Oh, it's 88 degrees. It's cold outside. <laughs> but I kind of live for it and I know that I'm gonna get more used to it. But the sun is shining, so this has been my jam. It is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint with SPF 30. This one's really good, especially when it gets like hot and sweaty. This one like really doesn't come off. Um, the gag is though, this is like a year old, so I don't know if I'm even protecting myself against the sun or if this just expired at the house, but um, I did order more. So this is my cream bronzer from Chanel that I literally thought I overpaid for and thought I was never gonna use. And I've had this for like a year and I use it every day. And it still has so much product in it. But let me put this on to give my face some depth. Also, you know what's so Um, I went to the orthodontist, shout out to Gabe Rosenthal. I went to the orthodontist and I got this thing put in the back of my teeth. It's like that little wire to hold them in place. And it's fine and it doesn't affect the way I talk. But when I wake up and I haven't had my coffee and it's like the first 20 minutes of the day. I have the fattest lisp. I'm like. <laughs> what I'm doing is the textbook definition of no makeup makeup look is here girl, it's like why bother doing the most because you might just sweat it off. Now we're gonna do some liquid blush. This is from e.l.f. I like to put it on the back of my hand, rub it in, and then lightly just dip the brush in it a little bit. This is how you don't do overkill with these type of liquid products. Sometimes I put it so high that it's basically in the same spot as my concealer, but it makes such a difference. I really like to play off the 
natural makeup look here since I barely wear any, so these little freckles actually look real. That was my attempt at five minute makeup that turned into 10 minute makeup, and it happens every time. I don't know why I keep playing myself. Um, let's get this day started, guys. So, first things first in my mornings, I do my 20 minute meditation and this 20 minute meditation just helps me with everything throughout the day. It's a meditation where you kind of relax, check in with yourself. I guess manifest, but I don't think that's the point of it. You're supposed to like remind yourself of what your bigger picture is, what your goals are. And it gets you in a good place mentally for the day because you're kind of focused on the bigger picture. Right now, none of my guest bedrooms are done yet because I just moved in. So this room has been the perfect meditation room because there's literally nothing here. So I'm gonna do this meditation and I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to drop the link to this meditation, but it's not a link, it's a download. So let me figure out a way to get it to you guys and I promise you that I will. This meditation has literally been helping me so much. Miss Keisha, yeah, she fucking did. Look who woke up. Today was the first day that we didn't do our meditation together. I know. I didn't even have the best meditation. I was a little bit distracted. Oh, you did it? No, I kept thinking about the, the vlog. But you did it? You went and oh, tried yeah, it? Oh, yeah, I went and did it, yeah. I Good job. That's better than me. I didn't even try. But you've been vlogging. I don't know. I've just been vlogging my new life. Okay, but what, what does it consist of? Your new haircut. <laughs> you got a new haircut. Isn't it hot? My man's looking dapper, baby. Now I'm going to go vlog Dutch Bros. I'm going to show them Dutch Bros. Oh, I just made coffee. Oh, you made one for me? No, I made one for me. <laughs> So I'm gonna go show them Dutch Bros. Can you give them the lowdown on Dutch Bros while I get dressed? Dutch Bros, oh my god, I don't know anything about Dutch Bros. What do Dutch you mean? Bros it's, a, it's fire, they're overly happy, they have 50 yen flavored. Go for is it. Is it only in Arizona? Okay. I think so. It's kind of like a cult, like literally. They're a little bit too happy, for me at least. I'm, I think I'm a happy person, but I swear to God, they're too happy for me. You pull up and they're like, hey guys, what's going on? How's your day? And I'm like, okay, that's fine, whatever, you know, like, yeah, I'm good, man, what's up, how are you doing? They're like, I'm doing awesome. And anyone that uses the word awesome, you already know they're a little too happy, right? And then they spot something in your car, and they're like, what's that for? And I'm just like, yo, I just need my coffee, man. It's early in the morning, I just need a coffee. But I'm like the Grinch, or whatever, that's that's what Lauren calls me. Lauren and I laugh about it, we like it. Okay, the coffee's honest, really like, good. To be honest, it is a bit intense. Like I love it though. I really love it. Like I need that energy in the mornings. Remember that one guy? He was like, "What are you doing today?" And we're like, "We're going to the gym." He's like, "What kind of workout?" Yeah, what kind of workout? I'm just like, bro. <laughs> You're like, please just, get, I just iced coffee, uh, almond milk. And then he's like, he's like, "That's amazing. I love working out. It makes me feel energized." And I'm just like, you know, when you pull up at Starbucks, they don't even care that you're there. They're just like throw you the coffee. I didn't think my outfit would be this cute today, but I think it's gonna be like, oh, I didn't even try and I just stumbled out of bed and I look cute. Um, I'm wearing this black tank top, got it at Target, these tie-dye sweatpants, and I'm gonna pair it with these colorful Yeezys. Ugh, oh, what a cool fit. It's like I didn't even try. I just happened to look cool. I'm so excited for Dutch Bros. To complete my look. Bam, I look cool today. I love when this happens. Guys, driving around Scottsdale is the most peaceful thing. Like I know I talked about this in my YouTube video, but driving around LA, why is this lighting so bad? But driving around LA was the most stressful thing. Like honestly, anytime I would do something simple today, like get my hair done, it would be the most anxiety ridden drive of my life because the freeways in LA have like six lanes and everybody's trying to get somewhere and it's packed and it's whatever. and. Scottsdale guys, oh my god, the roads are empty. Like I can't even tell you how much I feel like my days improved just eliminating LA driving, seriously. Okay, Italy, but talk to you later because I'm gonna go back to my Rosalia. Yo, I have been obsessed with Rosalia, my girl. Recently when I saw Sam, all he plays is Rosalia and Brazilian music and all the Spanish music and I'm like, you know what? Why am I alienating my Latin side when it comes to music sometimes like i really need to be listening to latin music all the time so this past week it's been get in the car rosalia the whole way period honestly for those of you who don't speak spanish i feel so bad for you because you have no idea what she's saying but since i do <laughs> BRB. guys i got it Ugh, i can't even describe to you how good this tastes something about it i don't know what it is but dutch bros just they get it 
So the chain smokers were blaring in this clip and I'm not about to get copywritten because y'all want to get pulled closer in the backseat of their rover. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my extensions moved up onto my scalp. This was my first time getting extensions, so I'm not used to this uh, pain that comes when they grow down. So we're going to pick them back up. I'm loving, I'm living, I'm picking it up. And yeah, we're going to tone it so it doesn't look so yellow and disgusting. <laughs> So this is the current status of what everything looks like. It's kind of a mess, but today it was literally like 500 packages and we kind of reduced it to what you see behind. Um, and basically what we're doing is we're taking all of the extra boxes and putting them in the garage and they're just gonna sit there until they get picked up because I did not know this because like I said, or, um, I've never lived in a house before. I've only ever lived in like apartments and condos. So I'm not used to having a trash day and like take out the trash on this day because the garbage truck is coming tomorrow. So we haven't met any of our neighbors so far. I kind of want to, but I also don't. Does that make any sense? I feel like that's like a bad thing to say. I'll meet them when I meet them, you know, no pressure. I'm not gonna knock on their door with a cake and be like, hi, I just moved in next door. Um. I don't expect anybody to show up at my door like, hi, welcome to the neighborhood, which hasn't happened. Um, so it's good. I think we're just gonna meet each other organically and hopefully we have some nice families around us or something, I don't know. Let me show you what we were doing in the kitchen and let me show you how much of a mess it is. So we brought this couch from our apartment just so that we can have something to sit on while the real furniture gets here. And thank God we did because if we didn't, we would have been sitting on the floor. Like we have no furniture yet and everything is super delayed. Tell them what you did today, because you low-key went off. Are you into Rosalia now? Uh, you just played so much that like I'm, I'm kind of vibing. We finally have utensils to cook and stuff. Finally! We, we really did not slay this move. We came here with no forks and knives and like didn't think that through. So it took a couple days for them to get here, but now we can finally get back to cooking. I guess we should decide what we want to eat. I would say crispy Parmesan chicken, don't play with me. Yeah. Or cheesy smothered cheesy mushroom smothered chicken. Cheesy smothered mushroom chicken, damn. Should we flip a coin? Cheesy baby. Cheesy. Mm. Why is this table so, there's so much random stuff on it. Who drank a Pepsi? What's okay. easy about this is that everything comes in one bag. So especially right now where we're kind of all over the place. This is just all in one bag. Preheat oven? <laughs> I'll do it. Oh my God, it's the first time we've ever used this oven. Oh my God, I don't even know. Look at how fancy this oven is, guys. Actually, this should be a fun thing. Let's see, let me see if I can actually get it. Where are the buttons? Oh, shit. Uh... Where are the buttons? Wait, no, for real though. This is too fancy for us. Yeah, how do you get this to work? Don't tell me it's like an app on your phone. No. No. Wow. What? It's blue on the inside. Wow. Oh my god, it came with little cookie sheets. That's nice. Yo, film it. This is so fire. What? It's a blue oven. I've never seen an oven decked out like this. Like, yo, it's blue everywhere. How can they remember to paint it blue but forget the buttons? No, they didn't forget the buttons. We're just dumb. Okay, it's right here. Oh. How lit is that? This is so cool. <gasps> what? There's the blue light when it turns on. I guess your favorite color is blue. Okay, so basically you had to turn this nozzle. Turn the nozzle and then the temperature is like written in here. Ah! Get into it! We have no Wi-Fi either, so um, we've been really enjoying each other's conversations these days. I have to wash potatoes. I have to wash them. I have to wash potatoes. Well, he, everything I say, Henny has to just repeat back in a weird voice and make fun of me. Wash and dry, trim, peel, cut, boom. Trim, da, 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 ba, ba, boom. All right, this is too easy, man. Why are you getting so creative with it? Because I'm having fun. I'm loose off the goose, man. <laughs> uh -huh. No, he's not. Ooh, got it. Okay, 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 okay. What? Well, it's the sharp end is on that side. Wow, that looks so good. So this is where we eat our dinner until our furniture comes, guys. We have the cutest couch coming. It's this big white couch. It's like very comfortable and very cool. And basically the vibes in here are gonna be, what would you say, like? Cozy, neutrals, earthy. 
Yeah. So you guys already know about HelloFresh because I've talked about it on my channel, but it's basically really easy and really fun to do, and it makes cooking realistic for people. We've literally been using HelloFresh since the first apartment. Roll the clip of the first apartment using HelloFresh. So all the ingredients are here, and yeah, let's get into cooking with Lauren. This is literally the easiest thing. It comes to your door. You get to switch it up all the time. It's like new food that you wouldn't have bought otherwise and you get to feel like a literal chef. Like, look at the food we made. Everything is just laid out for you, so it makes cooking really easy, really fun, and really realistic. Like, we love to do it for date nights, and we love to just basically try different foods that we probably would have never made if we were to just do it on our own, because mm -hmm. we kind of do like boring stuff when we do it by ourselves, so HelloFresh makes it easy to like keep things fun. They have healthy options. Yeah, and we really love it. So use my code Geraldo80 for $80 off your first order, and that includes free shipping and everything, so go to HelloFresh fresh.com and enjoy.